Hi everyone, welcome to Better Dispensing. I'm Tom Masino, Application Specialist for Norton EFD, and in this video, we'll talk about what to do when you step on your dispenser foot pedal and nothing happens. Now, nine out of 10 times, there's nothing usually wrong with your dispenser. It's typically a couple of little things that can easily be corrected. Now they say there are no stupid questions, and there are, but there are four simple questions you can ask yourself. Is my dispenser plugged in? Do I have air connected to my dispenser? Is the power to the dispenser on? And is my foot pedal plugged in properly? With the simple stuff out of the way, connect your adapter assembly to your dispenser without a syringe attached to it. Make sure you have your dispenser set at the pressure you typically dispense at. Hold the adapter head pointing away from you and step on the foot pedal. Check to make sure air is coming out of your dispenser. You should feel air blowing out of the adapter head. If you hear a click in the dispenser, which is the solenoid being energized, but don't feel anything come out of the adapter head, your timer may be set too low for the solenoid to open. Set your timer to one second and step on the foot pedal again. By now, you should feel air blowing out of the adapter head. If it's not, call your fluid application specialist. Lastly, I want to talk about three of the most common reasons your dispenser may appear to be not working. First, each adapter assembly has a safety clip. When you're dispensing a watery fluid from the syringe and need to change out a tip, you would close the safety clip, remove the old dispensing tip and replace it with a new one, then reopen the safety clip. By initially closing the safety clip, you're preventing fluid from dripping out of the syringe. Before you start dispensing again, you need to make sure the safety clip is unclipped. This is probably the most common problem we hear from our customers. The second thing you'll want to check is your dispensing tip. If your dispensing tip is clogged, nothing will come out. If you're dispensing a thick fluid, just remove your old tip and put a new tip on the syringe. Lastly, check your vacuum control setting. Most dispensers have an adjustable vacuum suck back to prevent watery fluids from dripping between shots. If your vacuum setting is too high, you could potentially suck fluid up into the adapter hose and into your dispenser. This will not only make the dispenser appear to be not working, but it could also damage the dispenser. If there are signs of suck back, replace your adapter assembly with a new one and make sure you're using a filter trap in line of the adapter hose. The filter trap will prevent the fluid from sucking back into the dispenser. To recap, make sure that air is coming into your dispenser, that your safety clip is unclipped, that your vacuum setting is not set too high, and that your dispensing tip isn't clogged. If none of these appear to work, please contact your Norton EFD representative. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.